phase noise is one of the most important specifications for a swept spectrum analyzer. It is mainly caused by time domain instabilities of the input signal. Generally, the phase noise measured by the analyzer is the superimposed phase noise of the input signal and the phase noise of the analyzer. If the input signal phase noise is lower than the analyzer phase noise, then the measured value represents the analyzer itself. This video will show us how to measure the Regal DSA815 phase noise. First, use a DT4000 arbitrary waveform generator to generate a 15 MHz 0 dBm sine waveform and connect the output to the DSA815. Since the phase noise of the DG4000 is minus 115 dBm per Hz, it is better than the phase noise of the DSA815, which is minus 80 dBc per Hz. So the phase noise measured in the DSA815 is its own phase noise. Set the center frequency as 15 MHz, span as 50 kHz, RBW as 1 kHz, and VBW as 100 Hz. Adjust the reference level to display the signal trace in the proper position. Phase noise is usually defined as the relative amplitude from 10 kHz offset normalized to 1 Hz. We can use the advanced marker function, noise marker, in the marker function menu to easily measure the phase noise. It executes the noise marker function for the selected marker and displays the noise power spectral density. To enable the noise marker, press bandwidth detector and choose sample detector. Press the peak button to mark the peak point automatically. Then press the marker button and set the marker type as delta. Input delta as 10 kHz. Then open marker function menu and choose the noise marker function. The analyzer will display the normalized power spectral density, which is also the phase noise. In summary, the DSA815 comes with handy features to ease phase noise measurements. Just follow these simple tips. Set a suitable frequency and amplitude scale to get the signal trace, and then use the built-in noise marker function to get the phase noise.